Good morning kids. Welcome to the reading session of the story King and the Parrot. Listen to it carefully and try to follow the rise and fall of the tone and also try to improve your pronunciation. It's lesson number 4 King and the Parrot from your course book Sunbeams. Once a king went to visit his neighboring kingdom. The host king presented the guest king two lovely parrots. The king said, "Thank you dear friend for your lovely gift." When the king returned to his kingdom, he ordered that a special place be arranged in the palace garden for the parrots. He also called for a bird trainer. The king said, You are the best trainer in my kingdom. You have to train these parrots. The bird trainer said, I'll surely do this, your majesty. One day, the trainer came to the king. He said, Your majesty, though one of your parrots is flying high, the other parrot is not moving from its branch since the day it has arrived. On hearing this the king called all the bird trainers of his kingdom but they could not make the bird fly the king wondered the bird is still not moving from its branch one day when the king was lost in deep thought a farmer came to offer his services the farmer said your majesty i am a poor farmer i have come here to make your parrot fly the king was doubtful but still he allowed the farmer to try the next morning had a surprise for the king the parrot was flying the king shouted my parrot is flying my parrot is flying call the farmer the farmer came the king asked how did you manage this Even the best trainers could not make the parrot fly. The farmer replied, "It was very simple, your majesty. I simply cut the branch on which the parrot was sitting." The farmer added, "Though the parrot had qualities to fly high, it lacked courage and clung to things that were familiar to it." I pushed it out of its comfort zone to explore new possibilities. So children, the learning outcome of the chapter is free yourself from your comfort zone to explore new possibilities. Learning outcome means what we have learned from the chapter. It means we should not sit in our comforts. Rather, we should try new things. We should always try to do something new. students learn the meanings of difficult words and try to use them in your daily conversation i hope you enjoyed the session thank you and have a nice day and keep reading